Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, if you can't tell just from listening to me, I, um, I don't even know what I have truthfully. I've just been like crazy sick this past week. Um, it started with my kids and then like I started feeling like crap. So my Valentine's was spent with just coughing and gagging. And so a part of me was like, oh, maybe I have the flu. I don't know, but we're going to film for you guys because it's been a while and I need to feel better. <laughs> so basically we're going to call this video from blah to babe. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping the end result will be a babe because right now I've been like laying in my own disgustingness for like a week and I'm over I'm it. I'm going to start today with the smooth and pour, no pour problem primer, um, touch and soul. And I found this on Sephora and I just thought, why not give it a shot? I've been sick. I felt like I did a lot of exfoliation yesterday. My skin's feeling good. And now I wanna just kinda of work with something to help with my pores. So I'm gonna just kinda of work, I think, with my It Cosmetics CC Cream Full Coverage. This is the uh, CC Plus Color Correcting. It's such a long title. Your skin but better, CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF 50 and anything else you can fit into a bottle. Um, I also received a sample of Shameless Youthful 24 Hour Broad Spectrum Foundation from Marc Jacobs. And this is in the color Light Y210. So I'm just gonna mix it into the it. I'm sure a lot of you that follow makeup and are in the community know that a lot of what we see on the internet is not real. It's been retouched, it's been staged and positioned to look a certain way. But I feel like it's just important to say that like there are so many different tricks, lighting, um, retouching, refinishing that goes on when it comes to beauty and pictures and makeup. So don't ever feel like you have to compete with what you're seeing. Um, just, just don't, honestly. I know it's hard when you're sitting there and you're probably like in your pajamas, no makeup on, and you're scrolling through the internet and like Facebook, Instagram, and you're seeing pictures of all these like gorgeous people. It's hard not to like go there in your mind, especially if you are more sensitive or more insecure and you know, compare yourself. But honestly, like I try so hard just to remind myself when I'm most vulnerable that, you know, people unfortunately nowadays buy beauty and while, you know, it's okay to do that if it works for you, it kind of puts pressure on people to look and feel a certain way. Because that's like, that's the constant image they have of what's beautiful. But you have to remind yourself to look in the mirror and learn to say, like, this is what's beautiful. This is me. This is what works for me. And this is beautiful. And if I want to enhance myself one day, then I can do that. If I don't have the money or desire to do that, then I don't have to do that. And that's why I love makeup because makeup alone can do so much. It can enhance, it can create, it can design, you know. So if you have no intention or desire of wanting to, you know, fix yourself in a more um, permanent way, Makeup is a temporary way to do that and to have fun. It's also just a way to feel confident and empowered every day. So do what works for you guys. I used to be the girl that was so afraid to go to a grocery store and shopping without any makeup on. And I'll never forget the glorious day when I went to the mall of all places with no makeup and I was like, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was initially like terrified. I'm like, oh my God, Nicole, why are you doing this? You are a wreck. <laughs> like, why would you not wear makeup right now? Like, 
you know, and it, it was a little challenging, not gonna lie, because I do have problem skin, I'm older, things change, gravity, you know, all that good stuff. But it was liberating to walk around like that. So as for concealer, I'm gonna be working with my ColourPop today. I need some brightness. My eyes are so tired, you guys. I don't know about you, but I am one of those people that likes to go, go. So when I get sick and I have to kind of stay in one place because my body is literally like, Nicole, stop, just stop, don't move. Um, my body feels calm and rested and I'll be laying there pretty much like all day sick. But then when it comes to trying like to sleep, I'm like wide awake at night because my body's just so used to going and going that when I lay around and do nothing all day, when it comes to like bedtime, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm, I'm like so hyper. I just can't calm down and go to sleep. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna blend this out <clears throat> with an e.l.f. small stippling brush and then go in again with my beauty blender. But yeah, I don't know. I just get like insomnia when I'm sick is crazy like unless I'm really really ill to where I can't keep my eyes open but if I have like a cough or bronchitis I just like I don't know I get like anxious at night <laughs> yeah. um one thing I like absolutely struggle with is anxiety and um I've been getting treatment for it for a while now and it kind of really popped out and showed itself after I had kids. Um, most of my life I've been pretty much outgoing and comical, but on the inside I was just always very insecure. And I think part of my um, loudness and my obnoxiousness came from the fact that I was just hurting on the inside. And of course, you know, went through a lot of personal things too that I'm, I'm not going to go into now but um so I just had a lot of insecurities and I think that it all kind of stayed hidden inside of me and there was like a really good mask that I put on for a long time but much like anything else you can only hold it in for so long right long story short I just kind of had my moment I had my little breakdown um, <clears throat> but I will agree with the quote there is beauty in the breakdown you guys and I've learned so much about myself over the last few years from going through so much and I think I don't know what do you think if I film something talking more in depth about it I think it would be helpful because my thing is when I was going through it I would have wanted to see stuff and, and I did actually I remember like googling stuff and seeing stuff because what I was going through felt so much bigger than me but really once I did my my research and my learning I realized just how many people struggle to um, deal with anxiety and depression and mental health issues and also you know panic attacks and things like that that were a part of my everyday life that I didn't even know what they were you know I'd just be like, why am I so jittery and nervous and why is my heart racing and why do I feel like I'm going to pass out and I'd be like in the middle of my class and just have this like moment where I had to like excuse myself and I remember when I um, left school, I like dropped out for a while because I just couldn't cope. I was like, what is wrong with me? Why am I, why can't I just calm myself down enough to just get through this? what happened to Nicole. So it was a scary time in my life, but I've learned a lot over the last few years, guys. And I gotta say, if you're going through it, the one thing I always told myself was that this too shall pass. And I maybe didn't believe it as much at the time, but now I really do believe it, that you know it takes time, but healing is possible, you know? I'm gonna set with RCMA. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm just all over the place in tangents today, you guys, but it's just one of them talk throughs, but yeah, um, I remember like 
I had this facade of having my quote unquote shit together for so long that when it stopped happening and my shit was falling apart, I felt this pressure in my life to just have it all together all the time and just hold it back and hold it back. And then when everything started to surface, I just was like, I can't hold this in anymore. I am hurting. I'm, I'm struggling. So the day I walked through the door of my first therapy session was just like, um, the day that I think I took off like a backpack full of so much weight. And I just was like, here, I'm done. I can't, I can't hold this anymore. We have to let go of this. We have to figure this out. But yeah. So again, I'm not going to go too much into my specific journey. I'm thinking about filming about it, but we'll see. Um, cause it is a huge, it's, it's like stripping bear in front of people. It's a big thing to, to put out there about myself. Um, but I don't know, maybe it might help people. We'll see. Okay guys, so for eyeshadow, going back to my OG palette, my uh, Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. And I'm gonna take an Anastasia brush, the A12, in the color Tempera. And just pop that all over my lid and my brow bone. Um, I'm going to take the color Bon Fresco and uh, work that into my crease. Kind of want to work with this and I think the Huda Beauty, let's say, the Mauve Obsessions because I kind of want it to be a real mauve look. So I'm going to try Bon Fresco and then work with that a little bit. I'm going to use that on the same brush. I don't want a lot of placement with it. Just kind of want to keep it nice and blown out and diffused. Now using a smaller tapered brush. Let's see which one I want. Use my Morphe B23. And um, in the Huda Beauty palette, there is this kind of darker, mauvey, brownish, plumish color. I'm gonna use that color to kind of work it into that purple that we placed down, that kind of mauvey violet. I wanna keep these colors pretty soft. Now I'm gonna go into um, the M441 from Morphe, and um, let's see. I think I'm gonna dip it into this color in the Huda Beauty palette, which is kind of like a cranberry, and then there's a plum color down here. And I just kind of want to mix the two to add a little warmth, but a little bit of cool at the same time, and make it kind of more neutral. And tap a little bit of that excess out, and work that deeper into my crease. Now we're gonna go back in with that fluffy brush from Anastasia and Bon Fresco and just taper this down. We're gonna just glide this into our crease and just try to soften it. Now for the lid color. I think I wanna build a little bit of a matte shadow first. So I'm gonna take a Morphe, let's see, the G15, and I'm gonna go into this kind of ivory pigment that's in the Huda Beauty palette. And I just wanna pack this on my lid. I was thinking about like cutting out the lid with some concealer, but eh, keep it simple since Still not 100% myself. 
I'm just kind of pressing the matte pigment in now with my finger. Just want to soften it. And then really quickly, I want to go in with the BH Marble Brush in the 7, which is a really small detail brush. And I'm just going to go back into some of those movie tones and just kind of make sure we redefine the crease here. All right, so now I am working this really pretty color in the Huda Beauty palette. Um, it's like a rose gold color. It's a little deeper than Vermeer, which is in the Anastasia, so I'm gonna take a mixture of both on my finger and just kind of place this on top of the matte shadow just to add a little bit of glow. I'm gonna do my brows and my liner off camera. Brows are gonna be Anastasia's Dip Brow and liner, come on guys, you know, Maybelline Curvitude. So yeah, I'm gonna go off camera and do that and then we'll be back. All right, so we have them brows on and that liner on. I went a little crazy with my liner, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, you know when you're just not quite back in the game yet but you don't really want to throw out the towel too soon that's kind of where we're at today <laughs> uh, but anyway we're gonna dust off some bake using my jumbo brush from it cosmetics since I like baked and baked and baked today um, yeah so my skin definitely has a lot of texture going on today I'm looking a little pale I probably should have wore like a little more color with my foundation I think the Marc Jacobs one's a little light for me, but I do like the coverage because it feels like skin and it doesn't feel super cakey and heavy. My only thing is, I feel like I have a little bit of redness popping through the foundation because I'm just, my skin is just that crazy right now. So um, to kind of work with that, I wanna take my NYX No Filter Powder and um, start working that in around my eyes. So I'm gonna use my Morphe sponge. And I'm gonna start pressing this in. <laughs> Sometimes when I don't feel good, I wanna cake it on because I just wanna be like, bam, I'm better not so now um <clears throat> i used my no hashtag no filter powder kind of like in between my eyes or under my eyes in between the eyes and like the t-zone area but i want a little bit more color on the perimeter so now i'm going to grab my maybelline fit me and this is in natural beige and this is the matte and poreless powder and i'm going to take my morphe sponge and just kind of work this in around the perimeter in the jawline to give me a little bit more color as well as coverage since I really am pasty. Okay, now that that is set, I'm gonna bronze, use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And you guys, let's just talk about this for a minute. So my dog, oh my dog. <laughs> I love my dog, my Chewbacca. He's crazy. He has 100 pounds of pure, like, buff lab hound. Um, I love him to death, but he's crazy. In typical lab fashion, he loves to eat and chew and destroy. And um, I was in the process of, like, working with different brushes to clean and stuff. And one of my brushes, I guess, must have fallen or it was on the tip of something that he could just literally, like, open his mouth and grab it because he's so big and the other morning it was like six in the morning and I woke up to my dog chewing something and it was my bronzer brush my Morphe brush so I'm devastated I'm gonna use this BH polka dot brush just to kind of swirl some warmth on my skin but you guys I was so upset right now oh my god I just can't this dog is so lucky that I love him oh so much because 
he's like destroyed so much stuff in my house. My drywall. Yeah. Door stoppers. Corners of doors, corners of walls. Guys, we've been all over the spectrum today with talks about <laughs> um, like anxiety, depression, mental health, um, just all over the place. My kids, sickness, dogs, anything else we should cover. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I just, I felt like, I don't know, when you're like sick for a while, you just get pent up with thoughts and feelings. So I guess this is like my venting session. I'm going to grab my Maybelline nude blush um, from the Fit Me. And I'm also going to use another BH brush. Might as well play up the warmth in our cheeks, guys. If we're going to be flushing, we're going to be blushing. So we're just going to pop this rose gold Maybelline Molten Rose Gold on our cheeks. And I'm going to do that using my Morphe sponge. And um, I think that's just going to have to seal the deal today, guys. Because, yeah. Let's put some facial spray on. And I'll seal the deal with my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Now for mascara, I want to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I got this little sample um, from Sephora, and I was kind of curious. I've never tried this mascara. I have the Voluminous um, Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, which I've heard is an incredible dupe for it, but I've never actually tried this. Maybe I... No, I've never. Um, so we're going to curl using our Tweezerman Rose Gold Eyelash Curler. I like it. I don't like hate it. But I actually like, you guys, I really love my Maybelline mascara. I don't know what it is. It just, I think because it separates a lot. Sometimes the volumizing ones are awesome, but it's almost like you got to use them last because you need something to lengthen and separate first. Okay guys, so I went ahead and actually added some lashes because I just wasn't feeling the mascara. Um, I like it like to prep the lash because it does add a lot of thickness, which I think helps with kind of filling in gaps when you wear a band lash. But for me by itself, it just wasn't, wasn't really working. So um, I added some Kiss um, Ritzy lashes. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, I really, really like these and they're in the color natural black and super affordable. I think they were like four or five bucks. So I just kind of trimmed them down to my liking and I applied them with my House of Lashes Tinkerbell Glue um, and Eyelash Adhesive. I love this stuff, you guys. It's so good. And um, now we're going to finish the look by putting on our Velour Matte Lipstick in the color Vibe from Laura Mercier. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I am all set and ready. This is the finished look. Um, like I said, still not 100% feeling so hot, but at least I look good. <laughs> so anyway, um, hopefully this video wasn't like crazy tangents of ranting for me. Um, my, you know, just know my heart is in the right place and I mean well. Sometimes I don't always vocalize and verbalize it the right way. Um, at the end of the day, you know, that's the beauty of who we are in our country. We get to have different opinions and agree to disagree. Um, but I just want to talk openly from my heart and let you guys know that, you know, sometimes everything you see isn't, isn't exactly what you see. Don't judge yourself or lessen yourself based on the things that you're constantly seeing in the media, on social media, um, magazines, television, you know, with some of your favorite beauty gurus or even more so in into Hollywood and whoever, you know, um, don't judge the person you are, 
based on who they are. And um, if you choose to do things, you know, enhance yourself, then and do it, enjoy it, love, love who you are. But at the end of the day, just love yourself, you know? Um, and I think with everything going on in the world right now, that's just what we have to do because if we don't continue to find who we are and love ourselves, then that becomes anger and resentment and loneliness and detachment. And, you know, that's when, that's when things can happen. Um, and, and more so if those things do happen, you know, don't ever be afraid to seek help and, and talk about it. I, I hate the idea of a stigma around mental health. And I also hate how people kind of jump to it to to use it as an excuse for things too um but I believe in the power of like rediscovering yourself I believe in therapy I believe in just you know finding out who you are and where you stand and helping yourself so yeah if you're struggling you know do what you have to do and, and don't be afraid I mean for me it's the greatest thing I ever did was having that kind of breakdown in my life so that I could rebuild myself back up again. Um, and I think that, you know, everything in time will pass. That's just life. I really do. So I will try to film a video going more in depth on stuff like that because I think it's important nowadays to put that out there. Um, and because there is so much hatred and negativity and, and like trolling that's going on, you know, if, if that's what you're here for, Peace out. I don't have time for you. Um, but honestly, just, you know, I'm, I'm glad I can be open and talk about my feelings and also do my makeup and get ready with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll link my um, social media information down below where you can reach out to me. Love to hear from people. I love to connect with people. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again really soon.